today we're going to be talking about the treatment options for renal failure, and that's when your kidneys fail. So as you know, the kidneys are an important organ and they help filtering toxins and also water from your blood. So when the kidneys stop working, you develop two problems, basically. One, you accumulate fluid, so you have swelling and eventually you become short of breath because your lungs are full of fluid. So you need to get the fluid removed. The other problem is you accumulate the toxins and they will affect the way you feel. You start feel, feeling bad, feeling nauseated. Your brain's not going to work as well. So that's why you need some form of treatment. Today, there are three treatments for renal failure. The most common and well-known one is called hemodialysis. Hemo means blood, and dialysis means filtering the blood. And to do that, what you have to do is you have to remove your blood, run through a machine, and put the blood back in your circulation. In general, to do hemodialysis, you go to a dialysis center where people can access whatever device you have for doing that and can do the whole procedure in there. Most of the time, people go to the dialysis center three times a week and they sit there for three and a half to four hours at a time. The other option is actually called peritoneal dialysis. Peritoneal dialysis is when we insert a tube in your abdomen into that peritoneal sac, which is the sac around your intestines. I think there are several advantages of peritoneal dialysis. It is the most common type of dialysis that is done at home. Overall, less risk of infection and less risk of venous problems. But it is somewhat complicated to do, and it's also not for everybody. Also, peritoneal dialysis may be difficult in patients that had multiple prior surgeries into the abdomen, and the peritoneal dialysis only works for about seven years. Now, it turns out that's not a problem because within seven years, usually patients become candidates for transplant. And that brings us for the best option to treat renal failure for most patients, which is a kidney transplant. That's a surgery where they implant a kidney into your body to replace your normal kidneys. Usually they actually leave your kidneys in place and just implant a new kidney in the lower abdomen. In summary, those are the ways that you can treat renal failure and keep you alive. And we're going to be talking in a lot more detail about the devices that are used for access during both hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis. I hope the content helps and this is Minimally Invasive Insights and I'll see you next time.